Hey all, so here's uh, part 43 of my Pokemon Fire Red playthrough, and um, yeah, um, I'm just going to, um, yeah, just uh, struggle through um, Victory Road some more today. Um, that'll finish it, because it's it's pretty big. Um, so let's put Bunny to the front, since she's like level 44 and stuff. Um, so here's the first trainer I'm going to be fighting this video, Juggler Gregory, and he has Mr. Mime. Um, so let's toxic this thing, because a toxic Mr. Mime is pretty useless. So that's pretty cool. It's going to roleplay, just take my Volt Absorb, so that kind of blows. I can't even shockwave it now. Um, but I can double team, so I'm ca I can hacks it out. And he's going to keep role-playing me. I don't even know why. But, um, yeah. Eventually, I guess he's gonna attack me, so I guess double-team's gonna be useful. Um, but no, he's just gonna keep role-playing me. That's just so random. Um, sure. Let's just keep double-teaming, I guess. Um, it's gonna try to encore me, so it's trying to lock me into it. But, um, I'm running out of PP, so I'm, I'm just gonna burn some toxic PP, I guess. And he's gonna try to double-slap me, but doesn't do anything. So let's try a Thunder Wave to burn some more PP, and it's gonna die role-playing. So... Silly role-playing Mr. Mime. Now you're dead. Um, good game, Greg. <sighs> Even though you really don't know how to use your moves, but okay. So here's uh, TM7 Hail. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, let's go up this ladder now, and there's some guy guarding an item over here. So, um, ooh, rumors of a child prodigy. That's probably me. All right, so here's Executor. Um, you know what? I'm going to try to toxic stall this guy, too, because toxic stalling is fun, kids. Um, so, Executor is... Oh, it's going to stun me. That's annoying. It's going to paralyze me. Ah, I don't like being paralyzed. So, I'm going to use the full heal. da 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 dun No more paralyze. And it's going to miss with Egg Bomb, because that move, like, always misses. Um, and I'm just going to double team to make more things miss. And it's going to try to stun swarm me, but it misses. Ha-ha! Silly Executor. All right, so I'll double team some more. And, um... Oh, it's actually going to hit with Stun Spore. Now I'm sad. Oh, well. Um, it's still poisoned. So let's full heal again, um, because I don't want to be paralyzed. And it's going to Egg Bomb me, but that move misses even when I don't have a bunch of evasion. So I'm going to try to finish off with Shockwave, but of course he's going to use a Hyper Potion. Lame. All right, so Shockwave will at least do some damage, and it's going to help Toxic along, because Toxic is like doing imp damage now. So I go for a shockwave, um, and that's going to knock it down to below the what I need it to be to for it to be finished off by Toxic. So here comes a Sand Slash. I don't want to stay in with Bunny for this thing, so I'm going to go out in a Humpty Dumpty, um, who can definitely handle Sand Slashes by uh, absorbing them with Giga Drain. Um, and yeah, I just kind of consumed that Sand Slash, like yummy, yummy Sand Slash. And... Um, Here's Cloyster. Um, I'm going to go back in a bunny for that, because an electric-type move will absolutely rape this thing. Um, then again, so we're Giga Drain, but I'm running out of Giga Drain PP. So let's Shockwave the Cloyster. It goes down. Um, bunny's level 45, which is always nice. And here comes Electrode. I think, um, yeah, Nido King is the perfect person to fight that, um, because Earthquake will definitely one-hit KO. Hopefully it doesn't explode. And it doesn't, so it just screeches me. Um, and I'm just going to Earthquake it. So, Dead Electrode. So, now he's going to try to go out into Arcanine. Um, I guess I'll keep Doom Cannon in. Doom Cannon can still Earthquake this guy. Um, hopefully I'll still be able to KO despite the Intimidate. Um, that would be convenient. And I don't! Yay! And it's going to take down me. And that's going to do some damage. And, ha he gets poisoned, so he's actually going to die to his poison. That's funny. Alright, so, um, that guy wasn't too hard. Uh, George. So I fought Greg and George. Hmm... I guess they like G-names over here in Victory Road. Um, maybe the next person I fight will also have a G-name. We'll have to see. Alright, so let's snag this item. Max Revive. Pretty worthwhile item there. Um, yay, another wild encounter with a Marowak. Um, yeah, I don't really feel like fighting you, Marowak. Sorry. And... Yeah, I don't even know. I don't, I'll figure out the puzzle later. Um, so here's some girl. Um, trainers live to seek other trainers or something. And, um, I guess. So here's a Clefairy. Um... Well, I'll toxic it. Why not? Because that's what I like to do. <laughs> and it's got a cosmic power, so its defenses are, like, really high, but it doesn't really matter because it's toxic poisoned. Haha. <laughs> well, it's shockwave to help it along. And, um... Well, that's one way to kill it. <laughs> Crit on Clefairy. Um, here comes a Jigglypuff. Um... Miss Piggy's already level 45, so I guess I'll go into Doom Cannon because I do have Double Kick on that, and I'm pretty sure I can KO a Jigglypuff. And, um... Yeah, Double Kick. Oh, I get... Infatuated by love. Oh well. Um, doom. Er, yeah, I'm still gonna double kick you for the kill. So, 
kind of a moot point. So here's Dugong, who's part ice type, so that means I can double kick for super effectiveness as well. And double kick's going to be a 2 a KO. And he's going to aura beam me, which is going to hurt, and um, doesn't quite kill me, so I'm able to double kick for the kill. So that's a dead Dugong. Um, Doom Cannon should level up, and he does. Awesome, thank you, Doom Cannon. And here comes a Persian. Um, I don't even know. Let's go into Charizard. Charizard can handle Persian, I'm pretty sure. Um, so let's flamethrower it, and it's my most powerful move and stuff. And uh, even get the burn. Nice. And he's going to screech me, so um, my defense is all low. So I'm going to try to finish off with the cut, but of course he's going to full restore, which of course gets rid of the burn as well, so that's annoying. Um, hopefully I can kill it with flamethrower now. Um, yep, that's a dead Persian. That's always good. And here comes Chansey, who I definitely don't want to fight with a special attacker, so, you know what, I don't really feel like dealing with Chansey, so I'm just going to go out into Miss Piggy and Brick Break It, because that's definitely going to KO. Um, yeah. Bye, Chansey. I hate you. You're gay. You're homosexual. Lesbian Blissey. Alright, so Alexa, uh, <coughs> Alexa's defeated. Um, let's Super Potion Doom Can- not Charizard. I really wanted to <laughs> Super Potion Doom Cannon. Um, there we go. So... Oh well, yeah, super potion. It's not that it matters. I just kind of want to waste them anyway, because they're useless at this point. So going back down here, there's a Geodude, um, and Geodude is going to be trying to fighting uh, Gyarados, which obviously isn't good for the Geodude. Um, yeah, so I get 393 experience. Not even worth it, really. Um, yeah, let's uh, use my repels because at least it might um, at least stop the like really weak ones from challenging me. Alright, so here's Golbat, um, you know what, time to test out Blizzard, why not? Let's see how much Blizzard actually does to this Golbat. Um, eh, enough for a 2-hit KO, I was kind of hoping for like a near 1-hit KO, but oh well. Um, yeah, now Blizzard's going to take out the Golbat, and um, I can continue on my way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's the button that that rock over there goes to, so I might as well just bring that rock over. Um, TM50 is Overheat, which is always a good TM. I want to see if anyone else can learn Overheat besides Charizard. Um, let's take a look. Wow, that's random. Miss Piggy can learn uh, Overheat. I guess that makes sense, but um, in a strange kind of way, but I'm not going to teach it Overheat, I'm afraid, because it just wouldn't be... Well, I guess it could be decent, because, you know, I don't really need special attack on Miss Piggy anyway. Maybe I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But definitely not now. Um... So, I need to get that boulder on that pad over there, so I have to kind of think about how I want to do this. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Not too hard. I mean, this game was kind of created for, like, 5- and 10-year-olds to 10-year-olds in mind. So, here's an Arbuck. Um, I'm not going to fight it, because it's just annoying. And, um, yeah, let's see what's down here. And, um, yeah, so here's some Super Nerd. Oh, my goodness, it's another one of those cosplayers. Get out. Get No, go away. Go back to Rock Tunnel where you belong, and I'll KO your Charmeleon, okay? So that means you can go back to Rock Tunnel now. Stupid, stupid cosplayer. Alright, he has a Lapras, though. So um, Lapras is going to be fun to KO with um, Humpty Dumpty. Um, I'm going to try to just Giga Drain it, see how much it does. Um, let's see. Yeah, to it KO. And wow, Ice Beam's going to sting. Uh... Yeah, whoa. Alright, so um, let's try to get as much health as I can back with uh, Giga Drain, and I at least go back up to half, probably. So here comes a Lickitung. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to try to Leech Sheet it, because I kind of want some health back, and of course it evades. But then I mi he misses, too, so it doesn't really matter. So um, I set up the Leech Sheet now. He's going to slam me, um, and I'm just going to get some health back with Leech Sheet, and try to finish this Licky Licky off with Psychic. Wow, I probably should have just went for Psychic from the beginning. Oh well, Leech Sheet finishes it off, and, um, good game, Dawson. Um, so, any switch. Um, let's heal some of my Pokemons. I only have two Super Potions left. Um, let's use one on Humpty Dumpty here. And you know what? I'm going to use the second on Humpty Dumpty, so it's back to full health, almost. So, um, let's see what this item is. Guard Spec. Yeah, I guess it's kind of useful. Um, not really. Um, useful in a useless way. And, um, actually I don't want to go over there, so, um, I don't even know why I use strength. So, crap, that boulder went off. That's really annoying. I, I didn't know once you put the boulders on, they reset when you leave the level. That really sucks. Oh, well. Um, now I know. So, um, I have to push that boulder over again. And that's probably going to be the last thing I have time for this video because of all the annoying random encounters. 
All right, so um, let's try to get up there, get it over there as fast as possible. Here's another Arbuck, and um, yeah, it's gonna waste my time intimidating. Um, stupid Arbuck. Um, let's go run, you stupid fool! I'm pushing the boulder. Um, even though it's really Nido King, he's pushing the boulder, and I don't even know where he is. Um, yeah, another wild encounter to waste my time. It's a Onyx. Um, you know what? Onyx is one hit KO'd by Surf, so might as well just do it. Um, yeah, dead Onyx. And I even get, like, what? Ooh, 700 experience. Not too bad. So let's put the boulder on the thing, and of course, before I'm able to do it, a Geodude decides to attack me because it's retarded, and it's like, ooh, a Gyarados, let's attack it, even though I'm gonna get one hit KO'd! Stupid Geodude. Um, so it's dead. And that's always a good thing, I guess. So let's put it out on this boulder, and I suppose next time, guys, I will be continuing on the victory road. Maybe I'll finish, maybe I won't, but stay tuned. See you guys. Bye.